I'm back. I'm gonna do a look today. Uh, I'm gonna use all the things that Pat likes. Pat is my husband. He's been out of town since Sunday. And um, over the years, uh, I've noticed that there are certain things that I do in my makeup look that he compliments. And so I like that. So today, um, we're gonna call this look um, the uh, Pat, the makeup look Pat likes. So let's begin. I'm gonna prep my face with this. It's a sample I found in my drawer. It's uh, coconut skin smoothing something moisturizer. I'll put the exact name right here. So I'm just gonna press that into my skin. So Pat, like I said, Pat's been out of town since Sunday and he'll be back this afternoon around 6.30. And I'm gonna to try to have supper prepared for him. I know, whoop de do. Well, it is a whoop de do because I've quit cooking. When my kids uh, moved out, went out on their own, I quit being the super mom, house cleaning, cooking, just clothes washer. I just quit. I only do what's necessary now. And cooking is not one of those things. Eating is overrated. All right, so today, when I was trying to think of what kind of look I wanted to do, I um, came across this Artist Touch CC Cream, Itkin, New York. Uh, I don't remember who sent it to me. I think Heather did. Anyway, I'm going to apply that with my Wet Beauty Blender. So, what kind of skin does Pat like? I've noticed that when I have, he really likes a flawless complexion. Um, he says he likes matte, but I'm not certain it's matte. This, this foundation is too light. Oh dear. All right, I'm just gonna continue with this in the center of my face. It did say light. I don't know what part of light I didn't understand. All right, we're gonna go to, oh, that's all right. I can recover from this. I'm gonna pin my hair out of my face. Pat, like I said, wasn't here for Valentine's Day. So he had uh, some really nice, Olive Orbe is nice. He had some shampoo and conditioner delivered to the house by Orbe. And I used that in the shower today. Also, he sent me that bouquet of flowers. All right, this is the MAC HD, or if you're from across the pond, HD. Is it, hey, do they say it in Europe or do they say that in Australia? HD. Anyway, I'm putting this color in the perimeter because that other was just way too light. So I'm gonna fix dinner. Uh, there's a keto, recipe. I don't know whether it's a thing or whether we made, I think we made it up. Or we made up our own version. It's uh, stroganoff. I always hate to say that word because I'm afraid I'm going to say it wrong. But we don't use noodles. We use, and, and it is a, a fatty meal, but keto, 
wow that's really light but that's what keto is is high fat low carb moderate protein it's not the atkins diet never fear i can fix this i'm going to put this foundation the mac airbrush on my lids let's say back to the recipe we usually use ground beef and sour cream and onions and mushrooms he likes he he likes shiitake mushrooms and he likes to call them shate <laughs> that's one of our fun that's one of our things we like to do we like to say things wrong and him being and he being from charlotte north carolina um, I'm from Columbia, South Carolina, and us having twangy, and us having, we having, wow, I'm having a problem with my pronouns this morning. And we both have a twangy accent, so it sounds like we really are stupid. Speaking of which, speaking of stupid, um, or a bit not stupid or retarded. Uh, HRH, uh, Alex from HRH Collection. I, I genuinely enjoy watching her videos. I know she annoys a lot of people, and a lot of people just can't stomach her. But I, I don't think, matter of fact, I don't think my husband. I don't think Pat can endure. He says he can only take her in small doses. I think I understand her. Anyway, she went on a rant about people getting all bent out of shape if she uses the word retarded. She's not, and she was explaining that she's not talking, I'm not talking about you or your situation or your child or your dog or whatever. She says, I'm talking about my hair, my clothes, and it's a word. It's not, an, it's not a word that's been picked out. And um, anyway, just look up the word. Anyway, she looked up the word and read the de definition to us on her channel. I mean, and it fit. It wasn't. Anyway, enough about that. So I'm using the Lawless The One palette again today. The reason being is because I haven't had any issues with my eyelids being itchy since I started using this palette. The color that I'm doing now is Baby. It's a fleshy pink. What colors does he like most on my eyes? I don't think he has a... I don't think he cares for green. I don't... I, I'm, I'm guessing he does not like the color orange. He doesn't like it in clothes, lipstick. Uh, he doesn't like orange. All right. It's really beautiful outside today. I'm going to use Infatuation next, and I'm going to keep that on right here in the outside corner. I'm using the same brush. Back to the recipe. So I think it's got mushrooms and onions and sour cream, and it may have some sherry in it. I don't know. I do not know. But it's my, you know, it's my meal. I can put anything in it I want to. And instead of noodles, we do zoodles. Pat got a, a, a vegetable noodle maker. Yeah, he's the one that's been cooking that recipe. But since he's going to be driving for, I don't know how many hours it takes, like three and a half hours from where he's, he's he was working in Spartanburg. He doesn't have any girlfriends in Spartanburg, I don't think. All right, I'm going to put infatuation underneath, too. So I've been watching a lot of, well, trying to. 
I have an attention span issue with, I don't know why. I don't know why on this particular subject, I really don't, I have a hard time finishing the entire video. But there's been a tag about how to keep a relationship alive. It's, you know, the mature girls. I don't have any tips on how to keep a man. I know, I know, uh, you might want, might want, I don't know. You could either share this with your husband or not. I don't care. I have some tips on for men, if they're married to someone like me, how to not lose me. Like, what are the deal breakers? Well, um, holding on too tight. This is the way Pat holds me. This is the way he holds me in our relationship. None of this stuff squeezing me, squeezing the life out of me. He holds me like this. I squeezed water into my palate. Uh, in the past, I've had past relationships where the man s just squeezed the life out of me. Wanted to be in control of every thought, everything I wore, everything I, the way I looked, what I said, who I saw, what job I did, just... And on, and if you've watched my channel very long, you know, you've probably heard Pat say, I don't want to control you. I want you to be happy. I want you to do what you want to do. And because he's not controlling me in every aspect of my life, I want to do better for him and try to please him. The first thing I do when somebody tries to control me is I, I turn and run as fast as I can to get away. I do not want to be controlled. I don't want to be told what to do, what to say. But if you allow me to just be me, then I'll care enough about you this is black to try to keep it reined in to where i don't make you uncomfortable and that i'm thoughtful towards you anyway the how, i'm not sure that i have any opinions on well i guess i don't know i don't know I've never thought of trying, well, I guess the, the tag wasn't how to keep a man. It was about how to keep things exciting. I'm pretty unpredictable. I wouldn't say I'm unpredictable in a psycho way. But I'm unpredictable with how I look. Pat's always saying, you have so many different looks. I never know how you're going to look when you come out of that, come out from getting ready. All right. So I put black in the outer crease, outer V. I know that Pat likes black eyeshadow, so I'm going to bring it all the way over like that. So I went to the gym this morning. I was probably on a machine starting on my first exercise at somebody got some new propane probably starting on my first exercise at 6 30 this morning i did uh well actually that's a lie i bet i was doing my first exercise by 4 30 this morning taco woke me up and i couldn't go back to sleep i think he woke me up to get down to go pee on the carpet 
I do not know why he did that. I have no idea why he peed on the carpet. Is it a big deal? No, because we our carpet is over 20 years old. I bet it's anyway. We're waiting. We're waiting to be uh, petless to replace the carpet. So I just spot cleaned it and blah blah blah. All right, I'm going to take this color, and this is an orange. bring it out to here it's called next level so anyway i was up doing squats while my coffee made at probably four this morning and i did a hundred air squats that's one of the things i do to keep life excite keep our relationship exciting is i keep my body in shape so that pat continues to uh get a kick out of seeing me naked. <laughs> I know. There's good there's good and bad to that. Let's see, let's do some under well let's let's draw the brows on. Here's my snack this morning. Those are really good. Uh, polar seltzer raspberry lime no calories no artificial sweeteners blah 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 no carbs you know I don't know what gives it the taste though and I have not noticed that I get a headache or anything when I drink those some of that stuff will give me a headache I think those there's something that does, supposedly doesn't have any calories. I can't remember what it's called. It's in that skinny little bottle. It's got aspartame in it or tame. I don't know what's tame or tame or taint. It, it gives me a freaking, feels like my head's gonna pop off. Ever since I did that 90s eyebrow, I've been, uh, I've been kind of going with that that shape. Wow, the back and forth traffic. We're on at the front of the house, the on the street, and it's kind of noisy. All right, what? It, how, how does Pat like my eyebrows? I don't think he ha He probably doesn't like them like this. He probably so I. He just probably doesn't like. He probably thinks these are mean eyebrows. But by the time I get my rest of my face on, it'll, it'll all be cohesive. All right, this was really light, so I'm gonna go in with this. This is that original CC cream I was using earlier. I'm just gonna. Okay, my camera was cooling off, and while you were gone, I uh, finished putting on my winged liner, and I used the Makeup Forever M10 artist pencil and then I smudged it out with some black shadow from the lawless pa uh, the one lawless the one palette the color is called plunge that one so I used baby I used that one Infatuation Baby, I used that one on my lid, and I used that in the corners. Lid, crease, crease, outside corner, inside corner. And the Artist Pencil from Makeup Forever, M10. I've got a Okay, so I put up a Instagram post that I would answer some questions while I did this get ready with me. And I got one freaking question. Somebody wanted to know if I had any, they like uh, stories about hauntings and ghosts. I do not have, there's one side of my family that I believe, uh, 
were in, in their mountain people and I think they were involved in the occult and because they messed with that stuff it followed them and they had problems throughout their life. Uh, Pat and I are Christians and we don't mess with we don't mess with any of that. Uh, we avoid watching that type of movies and we don't have any problems with hauntings and we don't have eerie things happen to us. I think because we're Christians, uh, we're probably protected. Anyway, so that answers your question. No, we, I don't have any uh, haunting stories. I'm sorry. Uh, I probably would be pretty boring to you. All right, I'm going to use the, we also don't do horoscopes. We don't mess with anything. Uh, we look to, you know, the Bible for our answers, not, we don't put faith and trust in things like horoscope and palm reading and I think you're just asking for trouble. So I'm using the warmth from Bare Minerals to warm up the outer perimeter of my face. I think Pat likes when I look sunny. He's always liked me with a tan, of course. Who wouldn't, right? I think it... I think everybody looks good with a sunny glow. This is, I always use this Real Techniques blush brush for my bronzing contour step. I always contour my nose. I like it to look turned up on the end. I tried to come to the makeup room with, you know, all the accessories, the earrings, the blah, blah, blah. They get in the way. I usually don't notice until I get to editing and I get, and I watch it back and I say, wow, you really went about that one half-ass. All right, there's warmth. I'm not going to curl my lashes because my eyelash curler is MIA. It's in my kit. I'm going to take some little half lashes. They have hair stuck in. I was missing one uh, the other day. I had taken them off and put them on my bedside table. And I, you know, later on in the evening, I looked over there and there was only one there. I thought, what in the heck? Where'd the other one go? And I just knew it was probably stuck to the, you know, bottom of a drink can or something. I figured it was gone, gone. And then I came in, uh, came in my, I can't remember what I was doing. Came in the makeup room and I was looking at, oh, I may have messed up that pair. Anyway, I was looking at something and I found the other eyelash. Somehow it was in my hair. All right, I'm gonna wear these little half lashes. I think I got all the lint and stuff out of them. That's my look so far. It's not very glittery, is it? Oh well. All right, oh yeah, and I also put my Tart Pro Lash Adhesive in my kit. So I'm back to using the Kiss Lash Adhesive. It turns out I don't think it was the Lash Adhesive at all that was that was causing me a problem with my eyelids. I think it's the Jacqueline Hill Palette. I think there's an ingredient Oh my gracious. So I had to cut the camera off to get these lashes on. I ended up punishing the other pair. The other half lashes were not cooperating. So I threw them away. 
So there. All right. Now, now I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm going to use this YSL Faux Seal. And I'm going to put it on my cheeks. I'm probably tired, more tired than I think from getting, I got up at like 3.30 yesterday because I had a job at 6, 6 a.m. And I wanted to, you know, I want to be presentable when I go to do makeup. I don't want them to walk in and think, I don't want her doing my makeup. That's the way she looks. No telling what she's going to do to me. So anyway, I was up. I didn't mean to get up at 3.30. Or whatever time it was. I know it was before my alarm was supposed to go off. Because my alarm went off while I was in here putting my face on. Anyway. So then I, I was exhausted. So I fell asleep early last night. And... Then Taco woke me up this morning at before four. And that, like I said, I think it was to go pee on the carpet. Because I found a little puddle out there by my desk. Wow, I'm just bumping everywhere. So I think I'm a little more tired than I think. I'll have to scrape those off when, when they dry. All right, so these are uh, 6 15th. I took one lash, cut it right down the middle through the longest uh, bunch, clump, and then put the longest, the longest, like that. Move the longest to the outside. All right, I don't think Pat's all of that into... Uh, like pink cheeks or peach che cheeks. I think he likes, you know, kind of a Victoria's Secret look. Let's get this. This mascara is sidetracking me. All right, so I'm going to use Harmony by MAC. I'm going to do another layer of mascara in a minute. Let's see. Now that the lashes are on, I like to put a color behind them to give them a backdrop. I know, that sounds crazy, doesn't it? I'm going back with Next Level. It's the orangier one, even though I said Pat doesn't like orange. It'll be kind of a sunset thing. Yes, this was not an original idea. I saw uh, Annie Lawless do this. She did a sunset. That, not exactly like this, but that was where, that was the general concept that was going on in that particular toot. Sorry, I keep using the big mirror instead of the little mirror. All right, so I went back in uh, and put some infatuation. It's the berry color underneath the black. There we go. Now, now, I don't know. I, th I think why I do that when I go from step to step, let me tell you a funny story. This morning before I went to the gym, I put on a light colored lipstick and then I thought, oh, it needs a lip liner. And then I was thinking, well, what does it matter? It's 6.15 in the morning. So anyway, I thought, well, my lips look uh, invisible, um, you know, gone. Looks like I didn't have a mouth. So I put on a lip liner and I thought, golly, it's, it's a dark lip liner. And uh, so I slipped on my uh, glasses so I could see what I, th I thought I had stripped down or stone or something. 
Anyway, after I put my glasses on, I saw that it was uh, Costa Riche, which is not a lip liner at all, in fact. It is a eyeliner. But anyway, I use a lip liner as an eyeliner sometimes, so vicey for vicey versy won't hurt, right? Using an eyeliner as a lip liner, if you use a, you know, you got it. All right, I'm hitting the tight lines again. And then I'm going to go back and hit the, the lashes again. I think I want a more comey, a more comey mascara. Because some of these lashes are a little bit clumped together. I think they were sitting in the box awkward because they got smashed in my kit. I would... I'm not going to have any energy left for any uh, naughty time after foffing around with this for so long. I don't like this one either. That one's too goopy. Let's do this one. This one's got a comey brush. This one is the Bad Gal. Bad Gal Bang. See if I can divide these lashes up some. Oh, for heaven's sake. That's not working either. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and put another coat of mascara on. I still have to go grocery shopping. Maybe I don't. Maybe I... No, there's a few things that go in that, re that recipe. I was hankering for that recipe. There's a few things that go in that that are not in the refrigerator. I feel pretty certain. All right, let's divide these lashes out. All right, I'm leaving them alone. All right, let's do a lip. Uh, Pat does not like a bright pink lip, a red lip, an orange lip, a brown lip, a brick lip, a berry lip. He likes a nude lip. He likes a sexy lip. So I'm going to take strip down. Not that... Why am I not using my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Top? It's in my kit. So I'm going to use Strip Down. Why? Because it has a sexy name. I'm going to make naughty lips. All right. That's Strip Down. I'm going to... Rub it in place. I'm not sure I like that color. It looks it looks too warm. I'm getting exhausted. All right. Now I'm going to take this color. This is a pretty color. I don't know, and it's by Clinique, and I don't know if they still make it or not. I think it's called Nude Pop or Beige Pop. It's called Beige Pop. I don't know whether they make it anymore or not. Mm. That lip pencil was dry. I shouldn't have filled in so much on my lips like that. Is that a sexy lip? You know what else he likes? He likes high. Oh, he likes the inner corner brightness. That's one of his favorite things. Hold on. We're going to use uh, You Glow Girl. Let me get it. Let me get it. A damp brush. And I think the color is White Goddess. He does like the bright inner corner. I know he loves this. Got that going. Uh, I don't know about the nose highlight. I don't know whether he cares for that or not. I think he likes the shiny Cupid's bow. I know. Who, who doesn't? I think he likes the uh, highlight on the cheeks. But I, think, uh, but I think he likes sparkle highlight on the cheeks. I'm trying to remember. I can't find my... Uh, the one that goes on your cheeks, the one, uh, what, did, what was it called? 
I don't remember. This one's called Shine Delight. This is the one, this is eyeshadow. This is what we're putting on our cheeks. It's what I'm putting on my cheeks. I don't know what you're putting on your cheeks. It's an eyeshadow, Shine Delight. It's a, it's a Dazzle Shadow by MAC. <sighs> Do another mascara. It's like the third one I've pulled out. This one is uh, Sumptuous Knockout by, by Estee Lauder. This is exhausting. I'm going to put some... I think he likes bright under eyes. This is La Mer, the powder. Putting it under my eyes. I'll have one freaking fat lash over here in the corner. That's what I get for pulling janky lashes out. I think that's all. Uh, I guess I could... Oh, no, it's not all. I'm going to take the... He li Like I said, he likes the skin to look really clean and, per and perfect. So I'm going to take a mineral powder by Laura Mercier. It's called Real Sand. And further protect, further protect, not protect, perfect the skin. I know, I'm getting mad. I'm starting to feel like a. Remember years ago, <laughs> uh, y'all probably still do it. No judgment. I just don't cook anymore. Uh, when you would, um, when you do a bunt cake, you grease the pan and then you uh, put flour in it and knock the pan all the way around so it leaves a, it, it's like baking, like we do now, like anyway, it, you were prepping the pan to pour the batter in it. It would keep the bat keep the cake from sticking. That's what I feel like I'm doing. You know what I mean? Okay, this is Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I feel like uh, Heather sent me this. I'm gonna use it. Oh shit! I'm gonna shake it like a ball. It comes out in a really fine mist. Oh, no. These lashes clumping together over here on the outside is about ready. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to refill my medication. <laughs> Doctor? I'm going to need some new happy pills because my eyelashes are sticking together. All right. Oh, I do have another step. He likes sparkly lips. This is baby sparks. I would, I would say that the baby sparks would seal the deal. What say you? Uh -huh, no. He's in trouble now. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. And that I didn't offend, I also hope that I didn't offend any of you. 
please come back and visit with me again. Please leave a comment and let me know what part of your makeup routine does your husband notice. Y'all have a great weekend and ta